So once again, good afternoon to all of you. And I would just like to uh, tell you a couple of words about uh, the training program that I created for the EFL elementary and uh, secondary school teachers in uh, my country, in fact, in uh, Zagreb County in Croatia. Okay, so <laughs> a few pictures for you just to uh, try to visualize where I come from. The whole training uh, event will be hosted by my uh, home institution, which is uh, Gymnasia Velika Gorica. So it is a high school, and uh, we uh, prepare students uh, for uh, university. And when they arrive to my school, they are only 14, most of them. So uh, I do work with uh, teenage population, uh, age 14 to 18. Uh, the whole training uh, program uh, is planned as uh, seven 90-minute uh, workshops uh, with um, the same topic being provided both for uh, secondary and elementary uh, school teachers. Uh, but of course separately. Experiential activities demonstrating the ways of increasing interaction in the EFL classroom and to enable participants to share the knowledge and lay the ground for the dissemination and application of the gained experiences in their local schools, so nothing new to you. Mm. Uh, here is a short workshop outline, so I told you it will be a series of workshops. Uh, in this first um, let's say, uh, series. I will try to cover three topics, lesson planning and Bloom's taxonomy. This is uh, incorporating and, in fact, writing the objectives for our lesson plans using more action verbs and referring to Bloom's taxonomy. Mm -hmm. Learning styles and strategies, uh, also a field that uh, a lot of teachers need uh, training, I mean, need the training in. Uh, there are many uh, good teachers, experienced teachers, but during their uh, university education, they, they, they uh, weren't given any opportunity uh, to hear about uh, learning styles and strategies. Increasing interaction in our classrooms, this is a problem in Croatia too, uh, because uh, most uh, teaching, in fact, is still teacher-centered. So you have just arrived to my school, you don't know me, I would like to learn a lot of things about you, and of course, you are just wondering who is the person sitting next to you. Who are you? Okay, mm -hmm. so, <laughs> I'll just put a couple of numbers here, and all these numbers are somehow connected with my life. Please feel free to choose any number and ask me a question. How many children do you have? So which number are you choosing? 15 or <laughs> which number you are referring to? This one. So the question is? How many children do you have? Do I have two children, you want to say? Yeah, you yes, you are right. I have two children, two daughters, in fact. Yes. So parti all participants are engaged, meaningful context for interaction, making questions, revision of numbers or whatever, cooperative learning, and inductive grammar teaching as well. Uh, then, as you also concluded, content may be easily varied. I mean, depending on the age, level, and so on. Final thought. This is a tribute. This is a tribute to all my online course colleagues. Uh, whatever approach you take, whatever method you use, uh, no matter whether you teach a textbook, a course, or whatever, do not forget that we are teaching students and not a plan or a book. So we should always pay attention to their needs and let them be in the center. Thank you. Thank you.